Hello Survey Yatris. In this video, we will be discussing the new IBM Drone Survey SOP. This proposed Drone Survey SOP has not officially been released on the website. The government has updated the standard operating procedures for drone surveys and submission of digital aerial images of mining areas to the Indian Bureau of Mines. Let's see what has been updated under the new SOP. Under the new SOP, the ground control points has been updated. As mentioned in the previous SOP, with a certified DGPS instrument, the mine should establish at least 5 GCP per square kilometer of the lease area. In the new SOP, an example has also been provided to aid comprehension. Suppose you have a leased area of 478 hectares. A minimum of 24 GCPs including 3 permanent GCPs should be placed within the leased area. The updated SOP has also given more comprehension of the leased area covered with thick canopies. It is not possible to place GCPs in areas filled with dense canopies within the leased area. In such leased areas with dense canopy parts, GCPs can be reduced proportionally and distributed well in the remaining parts of the leased area. This figure shows a leased boundary containing part of a canopy. Imagine this as a canopy covering 200 hectares within a lease boundary of 478 hectares. It is not possible to place GCPs in areas filled with dense canopies. So here the GCPs are distributed well in the remaining parts of the lease boundary. 14 GCPs including 3 permanent GCPs must be established in the remaining 278 hectares. In the earlier SOP, there was no information on the leased areas with canopies. The data outputs needed to be provided to IBM by the lessee have also been updated. Let us discuss them one by one in the coming slides. First, we will check the updates in orthomosaic. The orthomosaic image should include a buffer zone of 100 meter and it should be a single image. The spatial resolution of the image has also been defined, which should be less than or equal to 5 cm in UTM projected coordinate system and in GeoTIFF format. The next update is regarding the digital elevation model. The previous SOP only mentioned submitting the digital elevation model that is the digital surface model and the digital terrain model whereas in the new updated SOP it has been made clear that the digital elevation model that is the digital surface model and the digital terrain model should include the 100 meter buffer zone. The spatial resolution of the image has also been defined which should be less than or equal to 15 centimeter in UTM projected coordinate system and in GeoTIFF format. This is the digital terrain model and this is the digital surface model. Both have a 100 meter boundary. Next, we will check on the GCPs. Compared with the previous SOP, the new updated SOP clearly defines the GCPs that must be submitted to IBM. The new updated SOP has divided the GCPs that must be submitted to IBM into three files. First, the total GCPs DGPS server data, including the permanent GCPs, must be submitted to IBM in Geographic Coordinate System, WGS84 data, and UTM Projected Coordinate System in Excel format. The second file is the permanent GCP data that needs to be submitted to IBM both in GCS WGS84 data and UTM projected coordinate system in Excel format. 
and the last is the plan of the gcps that need to be submitted to ibm in utm projected coordinate system in shapefile format there are also major updates in the map of the mining lease area more features have been added to the map that needs to be marked in the map before submitting it to ibm the updated features are listed below ml boundary topsoil stack infrastructure roads railways tailing pond effluent treatment plant mineral separation plant township area and others to specify that is the green belt area these are the features that have been updated in the new sop the above mentioned applicable land use data needs to be provided in a single shape file with proper nomenclature of features in the attribute data of the shape file the data should be submitted in the utm projected coordinate system in the shape file format in polygon geometry along with the associated files which is the same as mentioned in the previous sop in the new sop submitting the rmsc report in .txt .doc and .pdf format has been made mandatory earlier the rmsc report needed to be submitted only in .txt and .doc format also the drone survey log sheet in the previous sop needed to be submitted only in the .doc format while in the new updated sop it has been made clear that the drone survey log sheet needs to be submitted both in .doc and pdf format the final update in the data outputs is on the boundary pillar coordinates in the previous sop the boundary pillar coordinates needed to be submitted in the shape file and excel format in geography coordinate system and projected coordinate system in the new updated sop the boundary pillar coordinates must be submitted in the excel format in gcs and utm also a plan of the lease boundary pillar coordinates also need to be submitted in utm and gcs in wgs84 data in shapefile format although here two separate shapefiles for gcs and utm must be submitted as per the updated sop the processed output data must also be submitted to the state governments earlier it had to be submitted to the chief mining geologist and the respective regional officers of ibm these are the updates in the current sop when compared with the previous sop make sure to follow the new sop with this we have come to the end of the video if you are watching the video for the first time please like and subscribe we will add more videos weekly click on the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss any upcoming videos thank you for watching the video